Hey World Changers, it's Pastor Wes and welcome back to day two. All this week we're talking about change starts within. And the reason I bring that up, man, it is, it's easy to look at your outside world and not like it and be frustrated with it and not know how to really see different changes. And you may be pulling all these different levers at times. You may be looking at, well, if I had a different wife, if I had maybe some better or smarter kids, if I had, you know, a different job and more money, if I had all those different things, my life would be so much better. And that's not true, actually. Let me tell you what I've learned, and some of it the hard way, I'll be honest. So I'm sharing from my own life lessons is the reason I'm talking about this week. I've learned, man, if I want to see different, change starts here. I can't control everyone else. I can't control everything around me, but I can control Wes. I can determine the course of my life between me and God if I allowed God to come on the inside and change some things. So that's what we're talking about all this week. Now let's talk about the next tool here that I want to give you today. It starts in James chapter 1, verse 21. It says, so get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives. Now let me, I'll come back and kind of clean that up and talk about what that means. And humbly accept the word of God, accept the word God has planted in your hearts for it has the power to save or deliver or redeem or change your souls. Now, we talked about this yesterday. The soul means your thinking, your feeling, which is your emotions, and ultimately your decisions. So what is the word God, the word of God when it gets implanted on the inside of you, when you hear it, when you see it, when you talk about it? What happens there? That word that starts getting on the inside and growing on the inside has the ability to change your thinking, to change your negative emotions, to change your bad decision making and your processing, and ultimately how you see your outside world. That is so key to seeing change that starts within. I'm trying to tell you, you cannot see lasting change positive change to the level that God has uh, set for our lives without the Word of God and feeding on that Word of God and planning that Word of God. See the top of the scripture, so get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives. Well, whenever the Word talks about evil, actually, if you go through, I don't have all the time to do it in this session, you go back through, it's talking about unbelief. The biggest thing and the biggest issue is the internal things that get put in us, the brokenness, the insecurity, the unbelief in God's Word is what we are, the bad habits and those things. That's what it's talking about, actually. And those, yes, they will lead to sin behavior at times, but people keep talking about, well, don't sin, don't drink, don't get high, don't sleep around, don't do all these things, but never address the inside. And you're bound to that and you're trapped in those habits and you can't see any change. Why? Because you're trying to put a Band-Aid over the issue when it's really coming inward and allowing God to rearrange and change all those things, that you'll see change in your habits, that you'll see change in your decisions. And when you make a change in your decisions, let me tell you, it will change and impact the world around you. And you'll actually start seeing some very positive things in your life. But that starts with the Word of God. Why the Word of God? Why is the Word of God so important? It's reading the revelation about Jesus is what it is. See, when we're talking about the Word of God, John 1 talked about over there, the Word came, verse 1, the Word came in flesh is what it is and dwelt among us. And the Word is Jesus is what that is. So when we read the Word, we're looking at Jesus in the Bible. We're allowing the Spirit of God to reveal Jesus to us, which is grace. And as we get that understanding in the Word of God of how grace is supposed to apply to our lives, how grace should filter all the things inside our life, how grace is the standard we measure what is right and wrong, which ultimately is really found in the love of God is what it comes back to, we can start making successful changes. We can start taking the right steps in our thinking is what it does and allows us to identify, oh, I shouldn't think that way. I should think this way. I shouldn't feel that way. I should feel this way. I shouldn't make these decisions. I should make the other decisions. That's the power of the Word of God. The Word of God, let me tell you, whether you feel like nothing can ever change, the Word of God is the ultimate power that can change the impossible. It also says in the Word, um, nothing is impossible without God and those who believe in Him is what it is, man. There is nothing on the inside of you right now that is unchangeable. There is no thing where like, I, I've always lived with that. I've had that problem, that addiction 30 years. The Word of God can change that. I've never been able to successfully connect my life, my wife, and it's been 15 years. The Word of God can change that. My kids are grown up and man, they don't like me at all. Well, the Word of God can change those things, but what does it change? It changes here first. 
Man, I can tell you so many times as, as a parent and as someone, uh, as I co-parent with my son's mom, there's been so many times where I realized I had to change me first. I had to learn how to respond to co-parenting differently is what I had to do. Why? For the better of my son. I kept saying, well, maybe if this person acts differently, maybe if there would be more respect there, maybe if we get along better, maybe if she changed and this happened. And I realized that never got me anywhere. It brought more hurt, brought more anger, brought more brokenness in my life, and it never benefited my son. And I'll tell you, as I learned and God was dealing with me, I was like, God, I feel like things aren't changing over there. And he said, Wes, it was never about that. It was about you changing. You had to change. You had to be different. And let me tell you, as I've started to learn to thrive in that and grow in that, I've seen different. I've seen different in my son. I've seen different responses in the co-parenting situation is what I've deemed. I've seen more positive and hopeful things right there in expectation. But I also always would blame other circumstances. I would always feel for this situation to get better. Other things had to change. And although I, you want to see improvement in these areas if you're dealing with those things. Although it takes everybody changing in this situation, I realize the one I am responsible for, the one I have to control is me. I have to deal with me. I have to face me. I have the power and the real obligation to my family, to my son, to change is what I had, to grow, to mature, to develop. And as I did that, I started seeing God in that situation. I started seeing God in my son's life more than ever, where I couldn't see him before, where I would be afraid of how things were playing out, where I would be afraid of how my son would turn out. But God had to come in and change my inside world so I could see that from a place of faith, so I could see it from a place of love, so I could see, man, God has been there every step of the way. God has changed so many things because I saw the bad things that didn't happen. I saw all the opportunities I've had to connect with my son. I've had all the growing moments him and I have had to work through, even when things weren't good. And God saw us through them all, and God is still seeing that. But that's where a lot of this changing within comes from. And where I learned change started with me because of my failures in that area, and my growing moments in that area, and my wins in that area. And I'm teaching from that place the principles I found in the Word of God that positively changed me, healed my soul in so many areas, and drove out a lot of fear I used to live under that dictated my behavior and allowed me to respond different to the situation. And ultimately, my son has been better for it. I've been a better father for it. I've come to a better place at peace. It's affected my home in a more positive. It's affected my wife and our new relationship in a different way that's allowed her to come as a stepmom to be a better parent there because I'm allowing her to be that parent. And it created an overall environment for things to get better is what it's doing. So I was being very transparent and sharing this because I hope it connects with you at home is what it do. I hope it connects with the job or wherever you're at and you hear this right now that is relatable. That it's not just me talking about a principle. It's not me talking about some religious thing here. It's me speaking from a personal place where God has taken this word and this message of grace and radically been changing my life and I've seen some positive fruit. So I hope you get something from that. Sit down and take time though and allow the Word of God. Make the Word priority is what I encourage you to do and watch God work things on the inside of you and work the tough things outside of you. Join me tomorrow. I hope to see you there. Love you guys.